This is the Barbados Today afternoon news update for Wednesday, January 20th. Thank you for joining us. I am Marie Claire Williams. A visiting Islamic scholar is encouraging Barbadians not to confuse Muslims with terrorists. Sheikh Faid Mohammed Saeed said there is a difference between the true believers in the Islamic faith and people who terrorize countries claiming to be Muslims. He was delivering an address at the Central Bank last night on the final leg of a Caribbean lecture tour. Don't judge Islam by the action of Muslims. We go back to the teaching of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And those who, doesn't, those who do acts in contradiction of the message of the Prophet, وسلم, we condemn them as we are victims. Now, for example, you go in, in many parts of the world, Muslims are victims as, 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 uh, as well as other people from, uh, from different faiths. From, the, from different faiths. So, I would say, this, the, this is the religion that I know, and this is the religion that I speak about. The rest, I don't know it, and I, it is alien to me, and, it is, uh, and I'm facing the problem like anyone else. Islamic disciple and Canadian TV journalist Nazim Baksh accompanied Sheikh Saeed. He shared some of his experiences with people who claimed to be Muslims, but said he does not recognize them as believers. The people who kill and murder in the name of Islam, I mean, I've come face to face with these people on, on many occasions in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Sudan, all over the place, Egypt, and it's disheartening. And I've communicated with them, many of them who went to join <coughs> ISIS in, in Iraq. I've communicated with them on, on Facebook and Messenger. As they're over there, they're communicating on social media. And at times, I, I don't recognize their religion. I don't recognize their faith. I don't recognize anything that they're telling me. Some of them were so audacious to try and recruit me, a journalist for the CBC. There's regional and international news at